Hi, so let me start by saying that this has, I've got zero sponsorships or affiliates or anything with this video. This is just my experience with thousands of international transfers that I've had to do over the years. I'm gonna talk about just straight bank transfers, Western Union, Wise, Payoneer, PayPal, and Bitcoin. Uh, now it depends a little on the situation you find yourself in and I've never moved more than a million dollars before So I don't know what happens at that high end uh, of the money transfer world So I assume the same thing generally speaking, but I don't know I'm talking more in the thousands of dollar ranges here. So uh, Maybe even just a few hundreds of dollars, but rather than the millions of dollars that some people have to move Okay, so just remember that's all my experience. So let's first talk about just straight bank transfers so bank transfers are just when you have someone's SWIFT and account number and your bank does the transaction through the SWIFT network. Now banks don't miss you on this transaction. There are a fair few moving parts here and I understand a fee, but banks generally screw you big time on this. For example, my bank in Georgia will hit me with between $20 and $30 on my end to process the transaction and even another $15 on the other end as well. So that's just if I'm keeping things even in the same currency. And if I'm changing currency along the way, the fees are about the same, but I get really bad exchange rates. What I mean is if the Google rate from Euro to USD is one to one, well, I could pay up to three, maybe 5% worse than this rate. See, the bank internally get a rate close to that Google rate, but the they add on a few percent just to screw me over. It's actually a dirty hidden fee. So yeah, the, the banks aren't transparent with this at all. They don't tell you what's going on along the way. It's very hidden, it's a bit dirty. That's my opinion of it anyway. Um, I know people who work at banks and they know this is just some free money printer for them. I, it's kind of dirty, so I have gone to great lengths to avoid moving money between banks internationally. Um, this is not efficient and you will get burnt on fees. Uh, the Australian banks are even worse and I, they're all dirty. And I know they give corporation better rates for moving more money, but the little guy, the everyday Aussie gets screwed. Now also with this, I'm making a pretty big assumption here that the person on the other side that you're sending money to has a bank. Uh, obviously you can't move money to someone in this method who doesn't have a bank. So let's look at the alternatives to just moving money from one bank in one country to another bank or another person. Another person we'll talk about now Western Union. So Western Union is great for the people who are unbanked but Western Union doesn't miss out on their cut either. The fees and exchange rates are even worse than the banks. Um, but the big difference is that you can send money to someone in a country and they can just go to their local Western Union branch and show their ID and collect cash. Western Union is great if you need to send money to someone who doesn't have a bank and or who needs the money quickly. So I've used it a few times in an emergency. I had an employee in the Philippines who re I, ne I needed to pay uh, and his internet was having issues and his bank was having issues. So as a one-off, I paid him through Western Union and I had to cop the fees. But that, like I said, was just to get him out of a sticky situation. So uh, like I see the need for this service. Uh, eventually, I think Western Union will fall away because like super apps like WeChat and Alipay and Revolut and all the fintechs of the world will they will reach the unbanked. So I avoid Western Union as much as possible. Uh, they are worse than the banks with fees, but they're helpful in a desperate situation. Okay, straight up, I'm gonna be biased here because I really am happy with Wise and I'm a user. I use it almost all the time now. No matter which country I go to, I use my Wise card and it works. The exchange rate I get is far better than my previous banks, so I can keep USD or Euro or Aussie dollars on the card and pay for things in Indonesian rupiah or Polish zloty or Great British Pound and I have no drama. Now I send money to people all the time in these currencies directly, uh, either their WISE account or their bank account. Uh, they don't get hit with big fees and the fees are transparent. Plus something that I really love even more is the speed of the transaction. See what WISE does is they have a network of people throughout the world that have bank accounts in all these countries and when I move money from say Euro to Indonesian Rupiah, TransferWise or WISE match my uh, transaction with someone going the opposite direction and that saves the international transaction costs. Uh, yes, WISE take a little fee, but it's a fraction of what the banks take. Um, before I had my WISE account and I was using other services, my bank fees averaged about 150, maybe $200 a month in fees. Uh, now I have my fees under $30 a month and my transaction volume has actually increased over that time. 
Uh, I pay most of my contractors throughout the world with WISE. So that's Ukrainians, Indians, Indonesians. They all get their money quickly and I don't have to get hit with these fees and I get very close to the Google rate. So I highly, highly recommend WISE. It has turned into my everyday bank account. Uh, they have good customer service as well. And the WISE card is my go-to card in my wallet now. I was so impressed that I took a look at WISE as actually an investment, like a stock market investment, because they, they're a public company uh, that we can invest in and they're growing really fast. And I think they have a phenomenal service. Now, I also really like Payoneer. Now, I use this one for just one of my contractors in Serbia, and it's a good service, and I like having Wise and Payoneer, as that covers just about everyone in the world. Uh, Payoneer have competitive fees and competitive exchange rates. Payoneer has just far more countries on the network, so that's why I have it. Um, it helps with the countries that Wise doesn't have access to. Look, they're a really good service and a good way to, a good way to move money internationally. I don't know whether they're better than WISE. They're about the same, so I have both. Okay, I really hate PayPal. It is super frustrating to use. I get locked out every time I change countries and I travel a lot. It just doesn't work like WISE or Payoneer. Fees are worse, exchange rates are worse. PayPal has a huge network, but I rate it the worst to use out of all the platforms so far except maybe Western Union. So here is a table to compare the last three payment options. Wise and Payne are just superior in pretty much all situations. Okay, so this wouldn't obviously be complete if I didn't talk about the crypto or Bitcoin option. So if I had crypto and the person I'm sending money to wants crypto, moving crypto is actually pretty great. I tried it a few years ago and it was generally a good experience. The problem obviously is that I don't own crypto and the person I'm sending funds to wants currency that they can use to pay their bills. Uh, so converting USD to Bitcoin with Binance or whatever risky service you choose, I get hit with fees. Uh, then I get fees on the other end, turning it back into the specific currency that I want. So although it moves fast and quite painless, the fees are still there. Now, if the fees can get really low, then it might be a viable option at some stage in the future. I'm not sure, but the issue also is that Bitcoin can be a bit volatile even during that hour that the transaction takes place. And I would have to hold Bitcoin in my own wallet, which adds to its own levels of risks. So we'll see where this goes, but it's not useful at the moment for me and my operations. But if you are a mad crypto person and the person you work with is a big crypto lover, well, this actually is probably a pretty good option. So the quick summary is this. Banks screw you, but they're pretty safe. Western Union screws you worse, but is handy in a desperate situation. Wise is a very good overall solution and is safe and fast. Wise has great customer service and the Wise card helps with travel. Payoneer is also very good as a second option to access even more countries, uh, good for paying people. PayPal, I think just sucks and should be avoided if you travel at all. And then the crypto Bitcoin option, well, that's good if you have crypto and the person you are sending money wants crypto. Uh, for me, it's completely impractical, but for some people out there, it might be really good. Now, of course, I know there are other options that I haven't covered, but I think this is all you need to know, really. If you think something is safer with lower fees and faster than Wise or Payoneer, please tell me because I don't know about it. Um, and by the way, interactive brokers have very fair exchange rates when converting currencies for your investments. So there's a link in the description for those looking for a broker that is safe and with low fees. Um, I hope this has all helped. Thanks for being here. I appreciate all the comments that you guys give me uh, and I'll see you next week.